Arcoin was like one of the counters to Terra Blade. Um, but against these melee heroes, that spamming quills is happy as well. Back at top, Mirana. There's the arrow. Yeah, leaps in, hits the arrow, and this should be a kill with the spark rate. Five sticks. Uh, they tried to leave it for the Arc Warden, I think. Oh, he's going to live. He's going to get he's the gonna knife He's going to deny himself. Oh, Mirana. No, he yes. gets him. Hopeful. That one X. Oops, life still is going to get kill up top onto Gabby. Mid lane, X into Torrent. Can they lamp the arrow? There's a lot of creeps here, and as a result, I don't think he can actually get this kill. It's going to be keen gaming. That's Dash leaping on in. Hits the melee range arrow. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage with the flame guard up. One more right click with the tower shots, and Tim's gets another kill. The team can set for those. Bristle down bottom definitely wants to refill his bottle with those. But back at top, it's going to be the Grimstroke getting initiated on the lift into Cold Feet. This is why they got that early point in lift, although now Rubik level 3, of course. They'll get the kill. Sea Dream. So he gets down the high ground ward, which is why he scanned just to get this ward. With the trialing versus trialing, this is such a nice ward to have. They are going to go in on Gabby on the Arc Warden here, trying to bring him down. He just wants to take the Mirana with him. It's going to be Tim's chasing on after. Has he got the leap charges? He leaps forward again. He's looking for one last right click. He's not going to get the kill. Instead, it's going to be Arc Warden going down. And he used up two of his three leap charges and back at mid. They've gone in looking for the Arc Warden kill. They're going to get it. It's going to be... The King Gaming mid player getting X and pull back. He did have the rem. He didn't get to the high ground, though. He's still on the low ground here. They're slowing down the bristle. He's trying to chase with the Tidebringer damage. Joe's getting pretty low there. Instead, they're going to go for the AA. The Center board shadow. is ready on Kaka if he wants to place it. He's dropping it. Yep, they're going to go for this kill. They really want it, and they should have it. Yeah, he's just going to turn and fight. He wants to bring down the Rubik. He's going to get the kill. Can he buy the Midas? Oh. He did. Whoo! What he a player. He actually got the kill before and uh, bought the Midas. Yes. That's huge for him. That kind of salvages that situation for him, and they're going to go back with the X into the arrow, hits the Timbersaw, didn't use this one off. And now the Stars don't follow up, it should be enough damage, and yeah, they've got the kill with the Mirana. Very even game here at 15 minutes. Back at mid. X boat. The boat stolen, stolen by the boat. Rubik. He's going to turn that around, that's going to mitigate some of this damage coming on in. Bristle though, okay, with that Tidebringer, is going to get the kill. And now Bristle's found a new target, it's the AA, the right click damage, one more right click, it's there, it's just enough. As Bristle now in all sorts of trouble, he's overcommitted, he's dying to the Timbersaw, that pure damage coming on in from the Chakram. And Bristle will pay the price. Arrow. Yeah, have they got the damage the, the vessel? Silence? Yeah, they should be able to do this one. Yule Scepter is there, there should be another vessel, no, he's out of charges. Can they even kill him here? It's going to be Armel and Sublin in all sorts of trouble. He X him back in. Is there going to be another Star Storm? Couple of seconds. He gets the kill on the Timber Soul. Wants the Ember as well. And they'll get both. Really nicely done. The Arc Warden rotating in as well to get a kill. Not too far away from oh, that. Oh, nice one. arrow. Oh my gosh. They've got the combo with the Grimstroke. Banging them two together. The Lifesteal are going to get thrown up in the air as well. He couldn't get the Rage off. And now the Stolen Boat coming on in. But it's too little, too late. The X back is going to pull the Rubik back in for a third and a fourth easy kill. That 10 second arrow cooldown is so nice when you're playing this aggressive. And speaking of which, it's going to be a long 5 second arrow mid fold up by a boat. They haven't quite got the damage to kill him off though. Mirana in all sorts of trouble. The lift to follow the cold feet. They lose Mirana. The X back is going to pull in the Timbersaw. They bring him down. That's still gold. It's 300 gold. That's basically a hero kill. That adds up. And they're looking to fight this mid lane. The arrow is going to be dodged by the rage. Tier 1 tower being focused here by the life They're going to leash two together. The Ember there who's going to get infested. With a life sealer inside, can he remnant his way out of this one? No, he's been pulled up in the air, and life seal does not have rage. This is a disaster for Keen Gaming. Oh, they've lost Ember, who's going to instantly buy back, but this fight's already over and lost. The Ember needs to be careful not to die again. He remnants away. Mirana's going leaping on forward. Another leap Arrow, is there. Arrow, it's going to hit. Is close to it though. Couple hundred gold. They want to fight over these bounty runes up top. Timbersaw looks like he's king of the bounty rune. The Bristleback running on in as well. And it's going to be. Bit of a brawl coming out here. The Bristleback needs to be careful. Hit by the Ice Blast. He's getting low, but it's also Timbersaw. Defensively, Yules is himself. Can he change himself out of this one? But the Torrent timing, that Yules just sets up an easy Torrent. They'll trade Bristleback for the Kunker, so a bit of an even trade so far. And with the Infest Blink out, nicely played by the Lifestealer. Instead, it looks like Kunker is going to find the AA instead. Easy Starstone follow up, and Kunker will catch the Timbersaw. Ember's going to go charging. I think TNC needs to get the hell out of this one. They don't have the Arc One with them. The Ice Blast is going to go flying on it as well. Doesn't catch the Bristle. Mirana has Leap Charges still. Needs to maybe get to the high ground here. There's another Star Storm. Leaps away. There's just so much kiting going on here. Bristleback's going to go charging on in with the BKB. He wants this AA who's going to be forced to just TP on out. Cuckoo, his BKB wearing off. He's in trouble once this expires. Another arrow goes flying. It's going to catch the Timbersaw, but I don't think they've got the damage for this one. He's got a Heart of Tarask here. They're getting him low, and it's going to be Tim's instead on the Mirana going down. Too aggressive coming in from him. The stolen arrow is flying back at TNC. But the bottom lane, Parker. Yeah, I was wondering what was happening. Where this Arc Warden is, 
ever so slightly. I think Argon might be coming in for this fight here, but they've caught Tim's here. Can he get himself out of this one? He doesn't manage to do so. Has buyback if he wants to use him. We're going to see double buybacks coming into play. Bristleback turns, pops the BKB with the help of the four stuff away. And now it may be a time for Keen Gaming to get the hell out of this one. The Timbersaw has a package inside. It's the lifestyal. I think he's just trying to get him the hell out of this one. The boat follow-up is there, and they're getting him very, very low. Can they kill him? Lifestyle's going to pop out. Turn and fight. Hasn't got rage for a couple of seconds. Doesn't have mana as well. With the one charge, it should be out of turn and fight this one as Kunkka gets bashed and Kunkka's in all sorts of trouble. Pops the BKB, goes for the TP. Where's the bash? Where's the there bash? There it gets is. It at Keen the Gaming. End. Keen Gaming get a second kill. And now onto the high ground we go. There is buybacks, but do you really want to use a couple more? They may have to here. Gabby doing what he can with his double and Lifestyle just gets deleted. Uh, okay. Down he goes, and Bristol's chasing for more. Once this Rubik should be able to get him one more right click. Okay, arrow not going to need, be needed. Arrows and Torrents, they are just looking to force these towers here. Arrows continue to go flying out here, and it's going to be Mirana leaping on forward. Didn't quite have the damage to kill off the Rubik, who did get kept alive with the Grimstroke, uh, the, the Glimmer Cape. And the arrows just continue to go flying, and it's going to be a tier 3 tower looking to be claimed here. Timbersaw getting so incredibly low. The Ember Force to buy back. The Ice Boss is going to land on two, but the damage just isn't really there. They're kiting them with these four stars, and there's just nothing. King Gaming can do. They just can't keep these heroes in place. They're falling one by one, forcing out these buybacks. Three buybacks used already, and TNC may just say, let's just, let's just, you know, re-engage, reset a little bit, but they're being chased after here. I think King Gaming feel now, it's now or never here. The arrow's going flying up, forcing them to kind of disperse. It's so hard to chase when these arrows are just flying at you. Knife Warden will throw in one last Tempest double. This one maybe just going to feed away some gold. The arrows again going flying. Doesn't latch on anyone. The leash though is there. Soul binding two together. Mirana's gone leaping in with the double Sarsom. Doesn't quite kill the Rubik here. Life Sealer still leashed. We'll get the rage away. And with Rubik dead for 100 no buyback seconds. On Rubik. Whew, not looking good. Timbersaw pulled back in. He's got no buyback as well. And this is looking like the Emperor King Gaming. A cleave from the Kunkka. Slices through the Life Sealer's life. And it's GG. 53 minutes. King Gaming, they fought hard and long. They were so resilient, but it's TNC. Late game, Arc Warden. Yeah. Rubik paired up for that lane. That's a pretty strong lane, this Rubik Shaker. That yes. Shadow Demon just happily spamming these poisons out. They are going to go in looking for a kill. They've got the Pounce of Fault, the Lina. LSA is there, but not going to save his life as... Oh, Alchemist trying to kick the jungle, but he's being found wherever he goes, and... Some of these stacks he was hoping for are being messed with, and he may even pay the price for this one. They've got the Fissure there to mess with him as well with the Soul Catcher Poisons. They've got the kill. Either boat supports or, let's say, a mid laner because Slark's not going to rotate and uh, try to grab a kill on him. Yep. I've right, gone in here, Sand King. He got dusted up in his Sandstorm here, and he's going to be X back in. Can they give the kill to the Slark? There it he is. He gets it. There's one. Can he get another? He would love to keep getting these Estrin Shift. He's gotten two now. Off to a really nice start. Back at top, though, Tim's will get found out by this Queen of Pain. So there is a little bit of a turnaround here. But two Essence Ship steals. Permanent Agi stolen by the Slark. Back at bottom, Bounty Rune spawning, and it's going to be the Bane trying to contest it, but perhaps paying the price for doing so. They've got plenty of damage to bring him down. They say that. They yeah, need to make sure they get that last right click off and do, do so. Not the easiest game for Mr. Alchemist, but... Bounty runes and his jungle farm has not gone as well as you'd hope. It's initiation. They want to get this Bane kill. The boat flop is there. Has stick charges, but doesn't get a chance to get them off. As stolen Fiend's grip. Tim's is looking for a chance to use this one. He gets Barrow Strike immediately as soon as he casts it. Two-man LSA as well. Great play from the Lina here. They've gotten one kill. They want to get a second here. They already threw the Laguna Blade nice and early. Kunkka, he's being veiled up. He's taking so much magic damage, and Yi gets a double kill. Two, three Senate. sentries and give it to him. FP. Fire Strike follow up. They want the Shadow Demon in. Ooh, doesn't hit the screen. There is a Sonic Wave, and there's the blink. There's going to be an Echo Slam Fissure combo. They immediately delete Sand King. Sonic Wave is there. We'll finish off the Shadow Demon. Is there a blink? It's on cooldown. It's level one blink, and as a result, may have to be careful here. He's going to turn and look to fight here. Pop nice the ultimate borrow. before the Barrow Strike came in. But the epicenter is there. The Slark getting very low. There's the Echo Slam as well. The Queen of Pain being kept alive with the defensive sleep. The Fiend's Grip there as well. Can they kill off this quad? The Sonic Wave stolen! Oh, Tims, he turns it around. Kills the Queen of Pain with that one. They're still going to get Barrow Strike up. And Armel showing up with the boat. That's going to mitigate some damage while killing the Sand King. Two for two so far. As Bane 
Nightmare is perhaps looking to set things up for an Alchemist stun. They've got the Kunker with the Radiance damage as well. Slark in all sorts of trouble if he doesn't find a leap out. He's going to get himself down to the low ground. And the Slark can just dark packed it off. Gone in. They want to get these Bounty Runes. They are going to pick up a couple. And this time around, it's going to be much more King Gaming who are the team that's stronger. But they've lost Bane in the back lines here. And unfortunately for them, that does not look good for them as the boat is going to go flying in. Catch the lean as well. Slark wants another kill. He's going to get it. That's two kills for the Slark. Can't really have the damage to kill off the Alchemist in the back lines. Queen of Pain still being chained down here. Can There's they the actually bring slam. down the Queen of Pain? There's a torrent follow up and they've got the kill. The Fiend's Grip on the side. They've taken out Slark though. I, yeah, I think I'm we now kidding. understand why you haven't played at TI since <laughs> TI2 Lacoste. <laughs> uh. Well, here comes TNT. They've gone charging in. They picked up the Sand King, got too aggressive, and Bane is also Big in a bit of trouble. Wave. Nice. Boat, though, is going to help mitigate any of the follow-up damage here, and they may be able to get the Queen of Pain. There's a stun follow-up to the Disruption, and Queen of Pain dies once. Can they kill her a second time? I don't think they realize there's an Aegis. They've got an Echo Slime if they need to use it. They don't. There's a Torrent. There's a Totem, and they burst down the Quap. Bye-bye, Aegis. That did not last long at all. And Arc Warden needed to recover. They s they're still taking the initiative and playing with other four heroes. They know there's a few dead. They want to take a fight here. Oh, they're just trapped in these trees. They're both just stuck on top of each other. There's a Yules on Sanking, but I don't think he can do a whole lot with that. He's completely strapped with the stolen Burrow Strike. Yules Scepter will dodge the boat here. He's going to Burrow to the south, but he's dead anyways. It's safer to turn it off before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just in case. You don't always get a chance to, though. They're going to go. They're looking to kill off this Shaker. He is a tanky boy, though, but not tanky enough, as they will be able to burst him down. And we'll start with the BKB is being fiend scripted up here. Does solve the ultimate when this Fiend's Grip wears off, so I think Gabby is going to be okay. Bounces away, doesn't get the ultimate off. Defensive Disruption will help keep him alive a bit longer here. And they're going to blow him up with the Sonic Wave. Even through the ultimate, they had the AoE damages. Sankin gets fairly low, will die to the Shadow Poisons. AU is just having such a great game with the Shadow Demon. And TNC, despite getting those... Even get yeah. Inventory, so... Queen of Pain, nice. Not nice. No, but I thought disruption was a save, but no, that was a dire disruption. Alco's charging in. He's got this basher. He's got BKB. He's destroying them. He takes out the Rubik first, wants this Kunkka. Shadow Blade away. Where's the detection? Looks like the dust didn't quite clip him. Is another blink in from the Sand King. The Sand King gonna go looking for this one. He hits the Barrow Strike, but he doesn't catch the Slark here. Slark's on charging himself with a BKB. There's gonna be a stolen Barrow Strike from Tim's. That helps take out the Sand King. And the Lena LSA does land on the Rubik with the cast range. The Dragon Slave follow up in the Queen of Pain. They're gonna get a third kill, T and C. Since Rubik before that didn't have anything and Lena. Next Torrent is there. Are they gonna look to take this kill? It looks like that's the plan. The Nightmare to save is there. And with the BKB on Slark, he's being fiend scripted up in the trees. The boat takes too long to really cancel, but they still killed the Lena going for the Bane. On the back lines, it's Alchemist taking out the Rubik immediately. This Alk is such a beefy boy, pops the BKB, turns to fight Bash. the Slark. He forces him to pop the Shadow Dance just to keep himself alive, and instead Alk's going to find a new target. It's the Kunker. These Bashes just coming in one after the other. There's no escape for poor Armel. Echo. Gabby's back in, and what an echo it was. With the BKB wearing off, the Sonic Wave's there from Joe, but it's too little too late. Hunting for blood. They have got themselves an Aegis now. And here's going to be another totem jump in, but there's going to be a turner of the Laguna Blade. They want this Rubik. Rubik ball back last fight, and Shaker got silenced up. No escape for Cuckoo and the Rubik. That's a dieback. Pop goes blinking with the BKB, and TNC may have overextended the slot. Oh, the Shadow Strike's going to hit both of them. Yeah. TNC just need to get the hell out of this one, and Slark has Shadow Dance, but needs to be careful here. Orchid silences him up. That's going to be wearing off fairly soon. There is a boat to help him out. Just used defensively as he does pop the Shadow Dance in the end. He's being chain stunned up during it though. He's in trouble. I think he's just dead here. Does he have a pounce out? Can't get to the low ground. There's going to be a fiend grip mid pounce. There yet. 23 on Slark, 22 on Quad. Mid lane. Sand King goes blinking in, but he's being lifted and needs to be careful. There's a dire sentry ward here. Does have the defensive Yule Scepter with the Demonic Purge. He's going to pull him back down from that Yule Scepter. The boat pull back. Nice save coming on in from the Nightmare, but it's only going to do so much as they wake him up and still take him out. Alchemist's gone charging back in, has the BKB back up with the Daedalus. He's doing so much right-click damage, and the Sonic Wave there to help secure the kill. No buyback in place for the Rubik. Instead, it's going to be the Radiant King Gaming using their buybacks. They've lost the Bane, though. It's hanking. Just trying to make sure that his team can secure this Roshan. 15 seconds, the Earthshaker respawning soon. TNC, they've almost bought enough time. They're going to get hit by a bar strike into a two-man LSA. Laguna Blade there as well, forcing out a BKB.
from Armel's Kunker, but they've already lost Slark. He just gets chain bash, and there's another bash coming out on the Armel. Dies in the BKB. This Alchemist just shredding them with this item build of his. All eyes on oh Cuckoo. Oh my gosh. Cuckoo, what can he do? His teammates are just falling. They're dropping like flies. They just lost multiple heroes back to back, but this Roshan is so incredibly low. Cuckoo goes flying with the BKB. Doesn't have a good Echo Slam initially. Is he going to go for it? Waiting for the hero to come out of the, uh, of the disruption. Maybe it's the Slark. He needs the backup. Slark just so incredibly low with the BKB. He's just running from the epicenter and they're just not latching on. He blocks the pounce away. Sanking blinks in. Not sure that's what he was hoping for. Echo Slam was used, but did absolutely nothing. Just did a bit of damage to the Sanking. He's still barely alive. They're going to lose the Shaker again. Boat goes flying, doesn't catch anyone except Roshan. Oh Poor man, Roche. this Roche fight. 32 to 30, so even on kills, but all these buybacks and the farming pace of the Alchemist just so hard to keep up with. Lotus Orb yep. goes in. Oh, that Soul Catcher damage though. Doing some work here. Queen of the Game is blinking from the sides here. The Sonic Wave is there, but the disruption helps keep the first target alive. It is going to be the Alchemist following up the disruption though. He's looking to go on the Rubik, but the Invis from the Glimmer Cape. Help him keep him alive. The Alchemist gets pulled back in. He's in some trouble. The Aegis actually expires. The Echo Slime is there. They catch the Sanking as well. First goes down the Alchemist. Can Sanking get out of this one? Has got a Yule Septum. He's got no more Aegis. And this is trouble for Keen Gaming. They may have been baited in. He can't blink with the oh. poison. Drops the gem as well. And Keen Gaming say, we are non-believers. We don't subscribe to Dota Plus. We subscribe to killing this Slark. Deleted from the game for two minutes with a buyback. They're going to get Cuckoo on the Shaker as well. And they're hunting for more. Shadow Demon will get the Glimmer Cape TP out. We'll see it here. There's no more Radiance on Alchemist anyways. He actually replaced it. He's getting deleted though. The Lotus Orb with the Burrow Strike pulled him really deep in the base. The Shaker is there. He gets the BKB off, but he still dies. Just enough damage to bring him down. The Slark holding onto a buyback here. Amazing. Oh, they catch the Bane here. With their ward, they saw Summer. Still looking for him. They get the Demonic Purge out as well. Slark coming on him once. That Aji. Oh, Shaker in some trouble here. The Nightmare forcing out a uh, defensive disruption just to keep the Shaker alive, but the Shadow Demon will pay for it with his life. Now looking to beat KB Run, but the Fiend's Grip is there. Going to catch him. Trying to leap away, and Alchemist is going to come well away. That's They don't have those illusions to play with. What's the plan here? Two-man Forest Strike, two-man LSA follow-up. An absolutely beautiful setup coming in from the Sand King. Old 11 with a fantastic setup. The Rubik in trouble as well with the Orca there. Beyond Godlike, he is having a fantastic game. Another two man Boris strike coming on in. This Sand King is just having a hell of a game. Armel in the fountain. He's so incredibly low. The Queen of Pain wants it. He's actually getting stunned by the fountain. Needs to be careful. Bought a refresher in the fountain just to blink away. I think he wanted to get a Sonic Wave out as well, but he didn't have the mana for it. So. Uh, Getting a bit ahead of yourselves. King Gaming, they need to get out. Sarko's charging forward. Takes out the Alchemist, who does have buyback. Are they going to use this one? The Shadow Dance has been popped. Does need to be a little bit careful, and it does look like... Rubik's trying to see what he can do with the Soul and Barra Strike. He's doing some work here. The Epicenter comes on in. They want to take out Tim's. He's getting low. The Glimmer Cape is there, though. The Slark signed to put up some Aji here. You're going to be so careful as this fight drags on. The There's Slark the is getting scarier rip. and scarier. But it's a Fiend Script. It's on the Kunker, not the Slark. But still a big kill nonetheless. Two minutes on the sidelines and Alchemist Sand King. They're buying back. They smell blood. They smell GG. They want to end this one. They realize that Kanka nor Rubik have a buyback at this point. They want to end Shaker. it. Slark bought back. I mean, bought, bought a refresher. He may pop this just for the Shadow Dance. He's waiting to see if he needs to use it now. 18 seconds before he is Shadow Dance. Will he need to pop it? 12 seconds here. With the Shadow Demon, they're buying some time here. He's going to have double ultimate soon. The Fear is in. The Blink Echo Slam. They want this Alchemist. The Nightmare Save is there. The Lean under the Tower. The Fissure there as well. Blinking in with the Totem. You got He's it. taking out the Elk. That's a dieback. And Slack's on charging as well. Has the Batch. Goes on the bank. This is looking so good for TNC for now. They've kept their throne alive. They're still causing problems here. The Refresher is there. Slack has another ultimate if he needs it. Can he get it off? He's being stunned up. He's chain stunned. He can't get off. The Defensive Disruption is there. Is there a refresher? a refresher? Pop the ult, but he gets it off. He's still alive. The LSA, he BKBs as well. <coughs> they killed the dark. Oh my They're god. They're still the chasing still Cuckoo. There. He's in, sanking, snatching the. TNC charging that bottom. They had this ward. They see everything. <gasps> this is so good for them. They blink with the totem. But the Alchemist blinks to the high ground first. He saw them as well. He takes out the Shadow Demon. Instantly buying back here. The grip with the Laguna Blade. Trying to take out this Shaker in the BKB. Can they kill off Cuckoo? This would be such a big kill for them. Cuckoo has been feared up as well. And it looks like he's going to get the totem out of there as he dies. And Queen of Pain. 
gets the kill. Alchemist dead once again with that buyback. Leash onto the Sand King and chases on. Gabby wants these supports. He's got the Diffusal Blade. He, he got him. Spain. Yep. No Scepter ready. Not even using it. I'm seeing it here. Vision on the high ground. They do spot this ward out. So we'll see initiation coming on in. Laguna Blade being thrown. They really want this Rubik, but they're going to turn around with the Abyssal Blade. They've turned to take out the Sankey. He's dead without buyback. Alchemist still dead for 28 seconds as well. Abyssal Blade onto the Queen of Pain. But with the BKB. It's huge. You've got to keep an eye out for this one if you're keen gaming. You can't allow him just to sit there channeling it. Blink. With an Echo Slam as well. That's not the Echo Slam you were hoping for. All right, time to give back that yeah, refresher. I, I was just <laughs> thinking that. He's, he's hugging the Rubik. He's like, bro, give me give me this refresher. He's, he's asking for it. Queen of Pain blinking in, using that fear just to repel them from the base. The Sonic Wave doing some good damage as well, but that's the Stolen Fiend's grip killing off the Alchemist. He's dead again. He's just spending the entire late game waiting to respawn. Death after death, poor Alchemist is just having it rough and they've caught out the Bane as well. May just be a support, but that's a big kill considering all the saves that this Bane brings to the table. The lean in the back lines as well, they're just melting one by one. King Gaming have fallen apart here in the that's late it. game. That's it, GG's called. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> I imagine TNC, emotions running high. What a comeback from then. I mean, I Dota Plus doesn't lie. I told you it doesn't lie 100%. I still can't believe that they actually 